Modern Lindsay. Today, as you enter into marriage, be grateful for those people in your lives who helped you become the people that you are, capable of being people of heartfelt compassion, gentleness, and patience. From the time that you were very small, the time you today, God has been forming you and preparing you for the 40 words you will say to each other. Your first steps as a child are preparing you for the journey out of this church as together as husband and wife. God has prepared you for this moment in such a magnificent way that you may not come to understand it. So we ask God for the grace and strength as you grow older to see how God has blessed you. Blessed you with parents and friends and relatives and teachers and coaches and people who supported you and helped you become the person you are today. Because without those people, Lindsay, you would not be prepared to be Hunter's wife. And likewise, Hunter, all the experiences of your life, all the successes and dreams fulfilled and disappointments as well, have made you who you are and ready to become Lindsay's husband. It seems like only yesterday, but we were having a family dinner on a Sunday night, and Lindsay told us that uh, she had met someone, and his name was Hunter, and he was from Fort Worth, and they had been dating. And then she sat back and waited for the onslaught. So, The most important thing we do in life is raise our children. We pass on our values, our beliefs, our knowledge, our experiences. It's been gratifying watching you go through grade school, college, starting your career. I really look forward to watching you starting the next phase in life, starting your family. Now, I've always respected his decision making and this one to make Lindsay his wife is his best one ever. You know, Nisette and I are going on 47 years of marriage and And, uh, you know, if, if, if you all can have as blessed and happy a marriage as we've had, that's the best I can wish for you. Lindsay, I'm proud to welcome you to our family and wish you and Hunter health, wealth, and happiness. What, what I would like is for everyone to raise a glass to Hunter and Lindsay, and may they have a, a great wedding, great marriage, and a long life together, and wonderful children. Thank you. Hunter has played a lot of roles in my life. A teammate, a classmate, a groomsman. He's uh, even been a babysitter. But most importantly, Hunter has been my big brother. And I've always looked up to him, and I couldn't be prouder of the person you are. Goodyear is someone that I consider to be family. She is a sister to me, and I am so happy to welcome Hunter to this family. I could not pick a better person to do so. So, cheers. Family has always been number one in our lives. And although we've had our rocky roads from hell to petty little fights, we've always used love to overcome it all. To say I'm proud to be Hunter's little sister, which I will be always known for, it would be an understatement, and I couldn't ask for a better, bigger brother. Lindsay. You are not like a sister to me. You are my sister. I've always looked up to you, both literally and figuratively. <laughs> you are the most amazing friend, and you make it so incredibly easy to be your best friend. If Hunter can even come close to the friend he's been to me over the last 20 plus years, it's going to be an amazing thing that you two have. And I just want to say welcome to the family. And Chin Chin, raise your glasses, have a drink. Cheers. You are incredibly loyal, understanding, and compassionate. But really, er everything from playing sports with you growing up, to uh, hunting at Old Glory, to fishing with you, 
you've challenged us. You, you make everyone around you happier and better. Love you so much. Thanks for being a great brother. You so easily make everyone around you feel so loved. Your sweet smile and your never, no drama outlook on life is so contagious. You have always, always been there for me. The best of times and the worst of times. You are the best partner in crime and you are going to be the best wife to Hunter. And I can tell you that without a doubt, Lindsay Goodyear brings out the best in Hunter. So Lindsay, I want to thank you for bringing out the best and someone that means the world to me. So let's raise a glass for Hunter and Lindsay. We love you. Best wishes. Cheers. Hi, Hunter. Take you, Lindsay, to be my wife. Hi, Lindsay. Take you, Hunter, to be my husband. I promise to be true to you. In good times and bad. Samson of hell. I will love it out of you. All the days of my life. Lindsay is 12 years younger than I am. Lindsay was 12 when Beth and I got married. And Lindsay decides at our wedding not to say any words because as you know, she sometimes turns a little red when she has to speak in public. And just walks to the piano that happens to be in the room and plays Paco Bell's Cannon off the top of her head, which was one of the more amazing things. And it just goes to show you that words aren't necessarily everything you need and, and actions speak very loud. And Ben and Kendall continue to remind her of this to this day. know what love is, is to remember that it can be lost. And if you remember that all the time, you'll realize how important love is in your family if you think about where it goes and when it's gone, how much love brings. So I hope that sticks with you. I wish you all the best. Hunter, we welcome you to our family. You have taken such good care of my sister. And as my dad said, we, we're just thrilled to have you. So thank you very much. Lord, in your love, you have given us this Eucharist to unite us with one another with you. As you made Hunter and Lindsay one the sacrament of marriage, now make them one in their love for each other. We ask this through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And Almighty God bless us, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Let's now go forth and announce the gospel of the Lord. And now give you Mr. and Mrs. Hunter, Bruce, and Mary, and Mr. Christ.